Hello and welcome to my office. My name is Tony Kramer. I'm a product specialist with RDO Equipment Company and today we're going to teach you and walk you through the steps on how to set up a MyJohnDeere.com account to be able to access the John Deere Operation Center. What the John Deere Operation Center is, is an online based farm management software. So first things first, we're going to teach you how to set up that account. If you already have an account made, which before we may be referred to it as a Stellar Support account, you can use that same username and password to be able to log in to myjohndeer.com. If you do not have a username or password or you are unsure of a username or password, we're going to walk you through how to set that up. So if you already have one, click here. If you have not set up an account, you can click here and we'll walk you through the steps on how to set it up. So which one is it going to be? So now we're going to walk you through on how to set up an account for MyJohnDeere.com. So first you will go to MyJohnDeere.com which is going to bring you to this page. From there, we're going to go down to the bottom and select Create New Account. That is going to then bring us to this page. After you select that, what we're going to do is we're going to type in all of our information that needs to be input. Anything with a red asterisk needs to have something in that field. So I went ahead and created a username, RDO Ag Specialist, gave my name out here, first name, last name, then went down and added in country, address, city, state, zip code, phone number, and email address. From there, what's going to happen is we're going to click continue and that's going to bring us into our validation process of the account. After clicking the continue button, it's going to send you to this page, which is going to send you an email validation so you can validate that account. So from there, you'll go into your email, whether it's Hotmail, Gmail, Outlook, whatever it may be, and you'll open up this validation email. From there, you're going to click Validate Profile. When you validate profile, that's going to ask you to create your password and enter in challenge questions. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is green. After that, you'll make sure all of your account information is correct and select the agree to, to terms of use. From there, we can hit submit. So then this page will come up and it'll say password and challenge questions saved. Click continue and complete the validation. Click continue again and your account is now validated and set up completely. So now that we have our account all set up and completed, we're going to go into the operation center and show you all the different features and functionality and how we get to places in the operation center. So first we'll click on the operation center in our myjohndeer.com main hub. The first time you set it up and go in, it's going to ask to set up your organization. So all you're doing here is giving your organization a name. So when you add partners or staff members, they know your account based on the organization name. So in this case, we will name it RDO Specialist Team. Then we can click Let Me In. So now that we're in the John Deere Operations Center, this is the first thing that's going to come up the first time we sign into it. So what we need to do is we need to accept and agree the terms and conditions for data usage. Click, in, click I accept these terms and conditions. If you would like to read more about it, you can click on Frequently Asked Questions or you can read the full privacy policy down in the bottom left corner. 
I will accept these terms and conditions and click continue. That is now going to bring us into the John Deere Operations Center and we are going to be able to see and view all of the different features and functionalities of what we can do with this tool. So now that we're all set up and we have our account validated and everything is good to go, we're going to show you how to add and set up partners and staff members in your organization so you can get other people and other businesses to access some of this information if you want. Now remember, you have control over all of this data and information. You have to grant any of these different people access to get in there. So to learn more on that, click here and it'll take you to our next video showing you how to add, create, and set up partners. You should really click it. I know you want to. You'll learn a lot more about this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take you into the John Deere Operations Center and give you a brief overview of what all these buttons do and mean. So the first one in the top left corner is going to be our map. That's the page that we're on right now. That's what, where you're going to see a lot of your field, farm information. Uh, it'll be a, a geographical overview of where all of our fields are located. The next button down is going to be our equipment. So what we'll be able to do, just like before in Apex, we will have a list of all the equipment that we have. We will show you in, a, in the next video how we are going to create new pieces of equipment that we don't have in our list. The next button down is going to be our fields. So we're going to have all of our farm field names and everything that we, all of the locations that we work at. The next button down is going to be the jobs button. So with the My Jobs app on your mobile device, this is a feature that you can essentially create work orders and anybody working on your farm, any operators that you have, you'll be able to set up those jobs and they'll be able to access the list of jobs that need to be done from their My Jobs app. If you want to learn more about this, just talk to your local RDO equipment company, product specialist, or an account manager. The next button down is going to be our products. So that is going to be all of our seed varieties, any type of chemicals or fertilizers we're using, just like we had in Apex. We have that long list of products that we are going to be applying. If we go back up to the top, the next button over is going to be our Analyze tab. We're going to show another video on that and a little bit more on, on what we can do in here. The next button over is what I like to call the more button or your dot 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 button. In here we have access to all of our files that are coming in or going out. We have my organization which we're going to get to very shortly here. And then we have our terminals, setup builder, our John Deere software manager, and our my John Deere data manager. The my John Deere data manager could be a useful tool for some of you guys that are not utilizing wireless data transfer, this is going to be our, our bridge that gaps everything from raw data into the John Deere Operations Center if we're tra transferring data traditionally. The setup builder is going to be very similar uh, to what we do in Apex, and there again we will uh, get to that a little bit down the road here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to show you how to set up partners and staff members. So if you go to the dot 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 or more button and select my organization, that's going to take us into this page. From here, you'll notice it's already clicked on staff. If you have a number of operators on the farm or maybe you farm with uh, a brother or a dad or relatives, you can give everybody on the farm, they can all have their own myjohndeer.com account and you can give them access just by adding a staff member. 
So if I wanted to add, say, my brother as a staff member on the farm, I click the plus button, and that's going to give me the ability to enter in the email address. So what I'll do is I would enter in my brother's email address. If that would happen to be my brother's email address, I would enter that in. And then I am going to give him certain permissions. So if you're curious about what all these different permissions mean, you can click on the question mark and it's going to tell you exactly what that person will get access to and what they will not have access to. You have little question marks for each level so you'll be able to see exactly what logistics levels are, what editor levels are, and what admin levels are. So you're going to have the ability to give those different permission levels for each one of these areas. So you'll have My Files, you'll have My Equipment and JD Link, and then you'll have Field Connect. So what you would do is you would give them specific levels for each one. After that, you can click, click Send Invite. Once you send the invite, it will send that person, that email address, a, an email asking to uh, join your organization. Now for the partners, that's a little different. A little different, but yet the same. So what this is going to be is this is going to be all of our insurance agents, our, as you can see here, maybe the equipment dealers, maybe it's our, our accountant at the bank, or maybe it's our, our seed dealer or seed rep. What we can do is they can also have their own myjohndeer.com account and we can add them as a partner to very easily share information through the John Deere Operations Center. Now remember, all of this data is yours and you have the ability to grant access or deny access to any one of these people. So what you would do here, very similar to the staff members, you're going to go over to the right hand side. Again, you're going to enter in that email address and it's going to send that person, so if it's your agronomist or your your insurance agent, it's going to send that person an, a request email asking to become a partner of your organization. What you would do then is click next and they're going to get that email and it's going to ask them. So from there, in this page, you will be able to see anybody that you are a partner with. Now you can remove partners at any time or you can add partners at any time. So it's a very beneficial way to be able to send data wirelessly and seamlessly utilizing the John Deere Operations Center. So now that we have our organization completely set up with our staff members and our partners that we want to grant access to, now I can show you how to either analyze the data, view your data, and see what kind of reports we can get, or if it's your first time using it, I can show you how to add equipment, add products, and add fields into your operation center. Got to pick one of them.